work definitely pays off. The PNG women's national team took little steps to start their campaign towards the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The first hurdle was the OFC Cup qualifiers. about it i'm um, taking each day as it comes yeah thank you for support the plan stand the plan like you plan support strong when we win the grand final too a word of encouragement for you all girls go out to the field and play as a nation and you can the area you've not been played with you or some of them don't want to play but you've not been seen good you've sat off by no one as a summer as little achievers and underdogs, we took on the challenge. Fast forward, today, we walk away with the spoils, taking home the OFC Cup. Uh, Chairman, please uh, pass my highest order of congratulations to all our daughters. All our girls did very, very well, super well, super, super well played. Beating Fiji for us to now go into World Cup on our marriage uh, is a feat that was never achieved before. Our daughters made history. Pass my congratulations to each of those 11 girls who took the field, as well as all the reserves and the supporting players, uh, as well as the coach, the physio, the team management, and all the support staff around yourself and uh, the PNG Football Federation. Congratulations of the highest order. I cannot be more proud of Big Papa. Big Papa, Big Daddy is happy that my daughters have went into uh, going to World Cup on their own merits. Pass my highest uh, congratulations to them. I will see them when they come back home. We will give them a hero's welcome. God bless. Good evening, everyone. Good evening tonight. Um, I'm firstly, I'm just so proud and so happy uh, for our women's national team, uh, who has really uh, come through with the biggest win in the Oceania over the weekend in Fiji. And uh, I just want to say thank you to the girls who are here today. Uh, in making this success, it is a, we must honor and say thank you to a lot of people who have uh, put resources and support uh, behind our success of our women's national team. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say thank you to our Prime Minister, Honorable James uh, Marabe, uh, for uh, making sure that uh, through his leadership, through Gaming Board, and we also thank uh, Gaming Board uh, Chairman and also his staff for the contribution of uh, one million kina, which uh, the, the first lot went to the men who reached the uh, semi-final and the uh, second portion of that went to the women's uh, support. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to Prime Minister uh, through your support. Uh, and all, of course, Prime Minister, you came to Fiji and also uh, spoke to our girls and encouraged them and, uh, and they made it through. Uh, secondly, I'd like to say thank you to Kumul Petroleum Holdings, to the Chairman and uh, the Board, and also to Medicine Director Wapi Song, and also to Mr. Liria for all the support of Kumul Petroleum, who has stood beside us. And also to Telecom for their kind support uh, with us as we continue to support women's football in our country. Uh, I'd like to say, I'd like to acknowledge tonight too, or this evening, also to our coaching staff and our management staff. Our head coach, Nico, uh, assist uh, Percy, and uh, also to Edna and Susan, uh, and also to our physio. Well done on the coaching staff of taking our women through. And to the management staff, uh, let me say thank you to Ronnie and uh, to Destiny, uh, who, who were both 
at the behind the scene making sure that everything is okay with the woman in terms of logistics, in terms of care and support. Uh, they've done a wonderful job, so I'd like to say thank you to the head of delegation, uh, uh, Ronnie, and also to uh, Tasli as a team manager for the team. And also I'd like to say thank you to our media guys, uh, like uh, Henry, and uh, who have been there and sending uh, reports back to the country. And I think I forgot uh, the assistant coach, uh, none other than uh, um, uh, uh, Percy, Percy Mario, uh, who has really stood beside the head coach and uh, have made a big difference in that. So Percy, I'm, I did not forget you, so you were right there. Uh, thanks very much. And also to, uh, to uh, Godfrey Baniao, uh, the goalkeeper coach. I think he did a good job with our women. And uh, the goalkeeper was terrific. It was just super. And uh, that brought uh, success to us. All in all, I acknowledge everyone. And uh, for me, as the president of uh, PNG Football, and also to our ESCO members, uh, and all our presidents of the 18 members association throughout the country, and uh, throughout PNG, I know the support was there. Uh, you witnessed all the series right through through the grand final, and, and, and our women just became a super as the queen, not only of the Pacific Games, but to this uh, great tournament, the OFC Nations Cup, it was a great challenge and a great victory for our women. And I, I just, I'm so thrilled, so happy, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone, especially our women. Man, uh, I take my hand off from them, and I told them to believe in themselves, that they can do it. And uh, uh, we, we, we thank God Almighty, God Almighty for the support. And I've seen the women in their commitment in, uh, in uh, setting aside time to pray and, and devotion and putting God first and uh, helping them spiritually and physically and all that. Uh, these, these women were great. And uh, one thing I mentioned to them that we must always have a purpose in life. And, uh, and that purpose will leave a legacy. And that really stood out for this woman, all these 26, 27 women that have left a legacy, not only for them, for their families, for their children, and for the country as well. As we come, as we come to celebrate, we have put one foot into the World Cup, and one foot yet to get here. That's a six months of preparations. That is not the journey that we've over. I told the girls, I said, uh, uh, all the women's uh, team here, that we must have a purpose, a continuous purpose of preparing ourselves and saying no to the things that might uh, uh, not make us fit and be ready for the biggest challenge that is ahead of us. So like I said, one foot is already in, and we've got to drag another foot into the World Cup. So with that, ladies, men, take care of yourself, look after yourself, and uh, I will do my best on behalf of Buckley Guinea Football and all of our corporate sponsors and support. We will try to support you. Uh, we're working on many friendly matches and a lot of coaching. Uh, we, we've got to get ourselves prepared for the match, uh, the 10 Nation uh, Challenge in, in February in Hamilton, New Zealand. So once again, on behalf of Buckley Guinea Football, I'd like to say thank you uh, we just took one bell straight over and Mary and Bob Mary in the side less. On the side of fight, fight, you go on the side win. So once again, congratulations to our women's national team of the beginning. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, PNG Women's National Team. You have united our country through your achievements. We stand with you as you prepare for the road to FIFA come 2023. Go Women's National Team!